In every good story, there are moments when the protagonist faces painful trials. In my case, the struggle was both physical and emotional. As a boy, I was kidnapped from the street near my home in India, sold to a Christian orphanage, and then sent to an unsuspecting couple in the United States. By the time my new parents realized what had happened, it was too late. I grew up in the U.S., but with a persistent longing to someday return home to India. I remember when I was taken that I was scared and confused. Why were these things happening to me? What had I done wrong? Why was my life, my story, taking such a terrible turn? Letting my story unfold, turning my pages, meant adapting, getting an education, doing my best to succeed in this strange new country. It also meant not letting go of my dream. Years later, and often our struggles do take years, I returned to India. While looking for my family, I hit many roadblocks. Isn't it funny that in our own lives, when we hit difficult patches, we wish we could tear out those pages and avoid our trials, not understanding that to do so, we would ruin our perfectly good ending. As for me, I followed the whisperings in my head and heart that told me despite the years, despite my confusion and struggle, I still had a mother in India who also hadn't given up. It proved true at the last moment on the last day I had to spend in India. After disheartening days searching, I found myself standing at the hut that I hoped belonged to my brother. As I waited, I watched a woman run up the hill towards us. She was weeping profusely, hardly able to speak. She'd been told we'd come looking for a family of a little lost boy once named Chalamuthu. I knew in an instant, just by her mannerisms, which I had remembered, that this weeping woman was my mother. It was a glorious reuniting, a Hollywood ending. Today, I have two mothers, one in the United States, one in India. I also have a beautiful wife, two amazing children, and a life that's vastly better than the one I would have had had I skipped over my tragedies. The message is simple. When something sad or tragic or disappointing happens in your life, Keep turning your pages, keep fighting, keep believing, keep reading. The ending is going to be amazing.